Let's take a look at the solution to question number two for our practice exam for the midterm in Calculus 2, Math 1220 here. And so in this, in this one right here, we have an improper integral. We're integrating from zero to infinity, arc tangent of x over one plus x squared dx. Well, that arc tangent on top and the one plus x at first, at the beginning it looks impenetrable, but really this actually leads itself to a very nice u substitution. If we take u to be arc tangent of x, then its derivative du will be dx over one plus x squared, which actually works out really great here because this is our du right front and center there, which really will simplify the integral just to be u du, which I can handle that. I really like that a lot. Um, let's switch the boundaries as well. Um, as x ranges from zero to infinity, what happens to u? Well, arc tangent of zero isn't so bad. That's just gonna be a zero itself. But then what happens here, when we take arc tangent of infinity, what we're talking about is a limit, right? So as x approaches infinity, what happens to u? Well, as x approaches infinity, arc tangent will approach pi halves, its horizontal asymptote. And so that's actually what we record over here, pi halves. And so notice by taking the limit right now, um, when we do the u substitution, our improper integral actually switches to a proper one, right? Um, in which case, then we have to find the antiderivative, which will be u squared over 2 as you go from 0 to pi halves. When you plug in 0, everything will disappear. So we get 1 half times pi over 2 squared. And so in the end, that would simplify to be uh, pi squared over 8, which gives us option E right here.